The Lakeshore High School marching band is still trying to shake the jet lag after six days in Normandy, France, and nearly a dozen performances to mark the 70th anniversary of D-Day. WSBT's Denise Bone met up with some of the members who shared their photos and memories of this once-in-a-lifetime trip. People snapped thousands of photos of the Lakeshore High School marching band in Normandy, France. Hey, can we take your picture? It was a whirlwind schedule, playing at the Brittany Memorial Cemetery, marching from the Monument of the Braves to the National Guard Monument, and participating in a massive parade in St. Mary Eglise, one of the first villages Allied forces liberated in the D-Day invasion. It was just the most surreal experience of my life. There are no marching bands in Europe, so people turned out in the thousands for their performances. It was six, seven rows of people deep trying to see, people coming out of their windows to watch the parade. The farther they went, the larger and the closer the crowds got. You get treated like a celebrity and it's very humbling. While the group did some sightseeing on the trip, the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame, the Montmartre Hill, it was their time spent on Omaha Beach, where thousands of young American soldiers died on D-Day in 1944. We all stared out at the water. I didn't expect it to hit me as hard as it did. That left a lasting impression. But as I walked along the beachhead, I just I kept picturing those scenes from Saving Private Ryan where the ramps went down and then these young boys, they didn't even have a chance. So Jackson Libert and a buddy picked up their trumpets and started to play taps. It was physically hard for me to stand up. Like, my legs were shaking. I wanted all the soldiers who had died and all the soldiers who, you know, fought anywhere in the war that, to know that, personally, I appreciate what they did. Band members also paid their respects by pouring vials of Michigan beach sand on more than 700 Michigan soldiers buried in the Brittany and American cemeteries. To see all of those graves for one specific war, it was, it was almost scary. This D-Day anniversary transforming these teenagers into young men and women with a purpose to continue to tell the story of sacrifice of the greatest generation our nation has ever known. It's about remembering that which can't be forgotten. Denise Bone, WSBT, Channel 22 News. In the end, the trip cost $750,000, most, most of which was raised through donations and grants. A local historian is documenting the trip and will be compiling all the videos, veteran letters, and photos for the school to keep.